Hey, good morning everybody. This is an early Facebook Live for me. Um, I was supposed to have an appointment this afternoon, so I switched it and hopefully somebody will join me so I can do this live for a real person. Otherwise, you guys are watching the uh, follow-up and that's, that's okay too to see it later, but I'm just gonna check my phone and other phone and make sure we are live. Looks like we are live, yay, okay, good. All right, so someone's here. It's not telling me who yet, but thanks for showing up. Um, this is Robin. I'm Stamp with Dr. Robin, and I'm an independent stamping out demonstrator in beautiful San Diego, California. That's still a little overcast today, which is nice. I'm hoping that means we're gonna be a little cooler. And I'm just gonna dive right in because I'm not feeling completely up to snuff today. So we're just gonna try to make a cool card and get going here. Couple reminders, same as last time. Please everybody go look online. Hey Roz, good to see you. Go look online and look at the online exclusives. I had a, a wonderful uh, stamping event this weekend with the um, iconic imagery set that's an online exclusive and we did a little scavenger hunt through the new catalog and there were so many people there who said they hadn't even cracked open their catalog yet that they'd just been so busy they they were in awe of some of the things that we have that I had set out samples of stuff and we're just like oh wow I didn't know we had that oh I didn't know that's where that was in the catalog so crack open your catalog if you haven't yet but please um, <laughs> thanks Roz I'm mostly taking the day off. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Open your catalog, but even more important because there's so many beautiful new online exclusives. And I just, when we come out with all these online exclusives, and there, I think there's over 30 products, I go to the online exclusive section and I put in sort by newest. And that way all the newest stuff comes up first because there's a lot of online exclusive kits and things like that um, that otherwise you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know about, so go take a look. Um, hey Cindy, good to see you. Glad everybody found me early today. Um, second thing is don't forget to buy your glass mat if you don't have one. I am loving mine. I will probably never stop using it even though Stampin' Up! It hopefully will keep carrying it, but even if they stop. I just love the versatility. I love that I can, for the most part, I'm stamping everything on it. Occasionally, some of the photopolymers I still use my piercing mat, but not uh, honestly, not for most of them. In fact, oh, I'm glad I have one. Um, and then also this month is b our bonus days. So through the end of the month, for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 uh, credit and it, excuse me, it comes as a code in the mail. And you have to have that code to be able to spend it in August. So the, the uh, getting it is now, but spending it is August. So I'm gonna put you down right now and show you we are back on Spotlight in Nature. And the reason we're back on that is I showed you guys a card last week and I got lots of questions as to how did I make it? And what was all of that beautiful copper on these cards? And I made it in this um, Blackberry Bliss because that's one of my favorite colors. And I also made it in Pretty Peacock and what I couldn't find is the pretty peacock one. So I thought, you know what? I may have sent it. I'm gonna just go ahead and um, remake that pretty peacock one because that's another one of my favorite colors. So um, hopefully you can see a little bit here, the copper that's even on the embossing there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so actually, I think I'm gonna do that first, just cause that may need to dry a little bit. Um, we talked about Spotlight on Nature last time, how some of some of us just bought the dyes cause the dyes are so cool, all of these um, circles that you can mix and match. But honestly, I've had more fun with the stamp set than I thought I would. So let's get going on that. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the, um, embossing on the four, let me make sure I got the right one, the four by five and a quarter inch piece of Pretty Peacock. And we're gonna emboss it with our Distressed Tile 3D embossing folder. And remember on the 3D ones, whoop, that is not straight, hold on, or else I didn't cut this straight. 
that something's not straight. Okay. All you need is the base plate. Oops, see, look, I have too much in here. All you need is the base plate and your gray plate, which I actually wrote on mine 3D embossing so that I would remember because that helps me remember. And that's the other reason on these that I that I um, labeled all of them, partially because I tend to forget the names, but also I put 3D on them so that I could remember which ones are 3D. But a good rule of thumb is if you can easily bend it, it's what I call a regular embossing folder. And if it's kind of hard when you try to bend it, then it's a 3D embossing folder. And you don't need any additional plates for that. All right, so we have that done. Now, what I'm gonna do on this is, here's another thing I think a lot of people didn't find in, I think this was in the last year's holiday catalog were these, um, what are they called? Metallic Enamel Effects Basics. So there's also one that comes with three and I, that I don't have yet, and I believe it's black, white, and red, but this is copper, gold, and silver. And they are really cool. So you can do a couple things with them as long as I have it out. I'll, I'm gonna show you another cool thing you can do with it. Might as well do that first. Is you can take these, shake them up really good. I kind of squish out. I'm gonna just squish out a little bit here that we're gonna use in a minute. I was gonna do it on my glass mat, but I don't wanna do this part on my glass mat that I'm gonna show you. Is you can do these and make your own little embellishments. So if you let these dry, they will become copper embellishments. And if you put them on your um, silicone mat, or I suppose you could put them on your glass mat, you will be able to just peel these off. Obviously, you'll have to put a little glue on them, but you'll have your own little copper embellishments. And then for what we're gonna do today is I'm going to just take a little bit of this, really kind of thin it out and just get a very fine layer on here. I'm gonna hold it up. And I'm just gonna run it over. And I just wanna get a little of it in different places. Now, this time I use, but this is like a really old one, I guess. This is not working well. It's, Let's try what I originally used, which was just a tissue. Looked like that um, sponge dauber was deteriorating in my hand, so it was leaving little pieces of itself on here, so that's why I switched. And, you know, obviously you can put as much or as little of this as you want on here. I just wanted a few little areas because obviously copper is the name of the game today. We're doing this first so it can dry for a little bit. I also think this makes this look more like, you know, one of those tin ceilings, etc. How sometimes they'll get a little coppery. So I am going to, and you guys remember that you can easily wipe this stuff off of here or let it, anything you put on here, let it dry and then peel it off later, which we're gonna do with these, these little dots. I'm gonna have some little copper dots. Obviously, you know, it helps to practice with this so that you can get them all the, the, same, the same size. All right, and we're gonna put that aside and let that dry a little bit. All right, so next up, we're going to do some other embossing. This is like embossing day, okay? So we are going to emboss our image in copper. Yeah, isn't that cool, Becky? Um, I think this is a lot of fun. This is kind of technique day. You know, last week was just pretty day with the spotlight on nature and this is technique day with spotlight on nature. So you notice I used my embossing buddy. Don't forget that step or you have nice little fingerprints everywhere. I'm just gonna see if this fits this way. Oh, it does. 
so I can put more than one on here because we are going to cut this out so it doesn't really matter how this goes. All right, now I have my copper embossing powder in here. I don't have any of the new embossing powders yet. Do you guys have the new embossing powders? I kind of stocked up when they were kind of going out on the, you know, before they put them into piles of three because I knew that there were a few ones that I tend to use more of. So I don't have the new ones yet. Somebody have the new ones can comment on if they seem the same or, or maybe even better than what we used to have. Okay. Running out of space here. All right, I'm going to turn on my heat tool kind of a little bit away from here so it can heat up a little bit. And when I do my embossing, I tend to heat from the bottom for a little bit. Because see how it bends the paper? Well, it bends the paper the other direction when you're doing your heating from the top. So I kind of always start with a little bit of going the opposite direction. And to, you know, you can emboss on vellum, but when you do that, I always do it from the back. Otherwise, you tend to burn the vellum. All right, that's it for that. Now, this I think is the, the one foible for this, um, for this bundle is there's no, um, see how it's already still bent up towards you even though I bent it the other way. There's no die that cuts this out. So fussy cutting to the rescue. And I know I'm gonna turn on my other light just to get slightly better light in here. I know a lot of you don't like to fussy cut, but really on this one, it's really not hard. Um, you know, I started by cutting like this and then I kind of went back and did some more, well, kind of a little bit closer in. Always remember when you're fussy cutting to move the paper, not the scissors. Apparently that's something we were supposed to learn in kindergarten that I do not remember learning in kindergarten at all. Although, I don't remember most, most things about kindergarten, do you guys? I remember sitting on the rug and listening to my teacher uh, read. I think that's about all I remember about kindergarten. I remember liking it, but... See, now I'm going in a little bit more with some in some of the areas. You don't really have to do that. You could even have cut this out, you know, found a die that, that sort of matched. But I will show you why I didn't want to do that in a minute. Wow, I should have just cut one of these out ahead of time, but we can just sit and chat. Anybody going anywhere fun this summer? Anybody have some good summer travel plans? We did all of our traveling in April and May. I think we're traveled out until we go to Northern California to meet our new grandson who is due in a few weeks. So that's why we are not going anywhere because we aren't on grandparent watch. Oops, that's a little big. Roz, are you like me that I still am amazed at how beautiful embossing is? <laughs> I mean, honestly, every time I emboss something, and when you emboss on these dark colors, it's just truly beautiful. Um, gold looks really nice on the dark colors also. I think we forget, or I forget sometimes, that I can 
do things on different colors. You know, you kind of get stuck in your own little rut of do it on white or whatever color you tend to use. We all have certain colors that we tend to use more of. But um, gold or copper on these dark colors like the Blackberry Bliss or the um, Pretty Peacock is just so beautiful. All right, so now I'm just going to go back in and kind of clean up some of the areas that are either I didn't cut enough off. This one, I'm just trying to round it a little more instead of making it so pointy looking. And I think I'm going to, I don't know if I want to go in and try to get a little bit more lightness in here so that seems a little airier. To me this is kind of an airy um, stamp and it feels a little heavy with all that cardstock in there. There we go, that's a little better. Don't have to get every little thing and I intentionally didn't try to cut up in between these two um, uh, branches down here because I thought for sure that was going to lead to me cutting off a branch or two. <laughs> so I think let's just round that a little bit more. Okay, now I'm getting a little fussy, aren't I? But I'm sure what will happen otherwise is I will notice this kind of stuff when I stop and take a picture of it later. You guys know that I put all this stuff up on my my blog later today, so. All right. So I think this is dry. We can start building this a little bit. All right, so this is just our regular uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I like to match up my edges. Before I do that, when I have especially the 3D embossing um, pieces, I this is to me when the glue really shines. I've never gotten it to stick with anything else as well as it sticks with the glue. But you do have to hold it a little bit. So, you know, I don't usually do this on a regular piece of paper but these ones that are the 3D embossed ones I do. All right, so the next piece to go on is a piece that I cut with the Spotlight dies. And here's another little gem that's hiding. Um, do you guys recognize this? Anybody know what that paper is? It's called Oxidized Copper 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it comes in the one that is the copper and the peacock, and then the one that to me looks copper and gold. This copper and gold one is what I used on on this um, berry one. Um, I mean blackberry one. I want to show you where it is in the catalog, and I think I'm going to start doing that a little bit more because, like I said, our little catalog search this week weekend made me understand that people are not really knowing where things are. So on page 110 and 111 is a whole lot of products, some of which you can see like a whole little uh, picture of, but some, all you're seeing is a little bit. So this is our Oxidized Copper Specialty Designer Series paper in they show you a little teeny picture if you can see that of the the copper on copper one and then another little teeny picture of the copper and peacock one that we're using but i also want you to notice right here this naturally gilded specialty paper that's something completely different that's on white and i can't remember if that one's gold or copper because i don't have that one but take a look at these pages. This is also where you'll see 
the um, the metallic effects, enamel effects that, that we're using, okay? As well as these wonderful cards with, with matching envelopes. So you guys, take a look at that page, 110. All right, so we are gonna put this on now too. Again, with the glue, because we want it to kind of sink into the distressed. I just love how this um, enamel effects looks on here. Again, I'm gonna hold it down for a minute. And then we're gonna attach our little cutout piece with a whole bunch of dimensionals. I don't think I've run out of ones I can use on the big ones. I am gonna use some of the baby dimensionals too because I just don't like, I don't want that flapping in the, in the breeze there. All right, I think that should do it. Yeah, Roz, I hope you're still continuing to heal well. <laughs> Copper on early espresso. I am going to have to try that. That sounds like fun. All right, lots of copper here, lots of pretty peacock. I'm just going to move that to the side and get my pretty peacock ink out. And I've got a new, not new, but a... Um, Oops, where did I put it now? Ah, here it is. Everyday Greetings. This is a, a new um, stamp set, and it is from the online exclusives. And the reason I like it is it has a whole bunch of greetings that you don't always find everywhere. We got a Thinking of You, which one of my favorites, because you could use it for almost anything, put whatever you want on the inside. We got you can put together happy anniversary hello today we're going to use the congratulations because i've run out of congratulations cards it is a photopolymer set i haven't used it yet so when i use a stamp for the very first time i'm always i almost always will do this which is stamp it here and then oh i can't see it because i'm off camera but i'm just stamping it off on one of um, on just a scrap piece of paper because the first one doesn't usually come out well. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you how well this works without a um, a piercing mat. And then I'm going to do one with a piercing mat. We're going to see if we can tell the difference here. But like I said, most of them will work perfectly on the glass mat without. I actually kind of like the one on the glass mat a little bit better. What do you guys think? I think it works pretty darn well. That's all I can say. And I like not always having to try to go find my piercing mat. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? All right, this is another bit of fussy cutting here for all you fussy cutter haters but or lovers. This one is gonna be pretty easy. I just decided on this one to fussy cut because I just, I wanted it on white. I didn't want, I, I wanted it to be able to show up a little bit on that pretty peacock. But I also didn't want a huge glob of white down there to take away from all that beautiful pretty peacock and copper. So I decided my answer was, let's just go for fussy cutting out the words. Of course I did choose a long, a long word here. <laughs> Sometimes that makes it actually a little bit easier, not harder. 
That looks pretty good, I say. And we're gonna get some, where'd I throw them? More dimensionals here for the back of that. Looks like I need another baby one at the end there. I love baby dimensionals. You guys know they come in a black packet too. That would have probably been a good thing to use on here. And then, you know, when you're using really dark colors, you don't see them as much. And the black one comes with both babies and big ones. Oops, this looks a little pointy on the top of my C. can't really tell if that's straight, so hopefully that is. And now, just a little embellishment. These are Neutrals Adhesive Back Sequins. They're uh, not brand new. They're a holdover from, from last year, and I don't think too many people had found them. So they have white. Um, to me, that's kind of gold. To me, this is copper. To me, I have no idea what this one's supposed to be. Maybe bronze, you could use it with the copper. I just wanted a little bit of the, the brightness of this other one. It comes in two sizes. I got a big one and a little one. And I think I'll use another big one down on the other side. All right, what do you guys think? Bring back in the Blackberry Bliss one, do you have a favorite? But you can see how all those little, co excuse me, coppery details are, um, I'm gonna turn off this little light I was using to, I think you can see a little better. Um, all those little coppery details on here, just bring it all together from the um, little uh, sequins, I was gonna call them rhinestones to the little bit of copper that's on the distressed tile background. And I may add a little bit more. I think I went a little heavier over here, but it's just so rich feeling to me. So, hey, thanks Barb for watching. So don't forget these details. Go back and look on page 110, 111, and you'll see a lot of these little coppery things. Obviously these are with the embellishments, but those are the kind of details that, that really take your cards kind of up a notch. And don't forget to go looking online for the online exclusives. That's where you're gonna find this, this really wonderful stamp set that's gonna be able to, you know, use for so many different things. All right, so let me put you back up. I will see you next week at one o'clock. Um, Thanks, Roz. I do feel better later in the day, so hopefully we'll continue to, to feel better. And um, the only reason I wouldn't be here next week at 1 o'clock is if I'm a grandma and I'm out of town. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.